Instagram recently rolled out 60 second reels, but not to everyone yet. So if you do not have access, what do you do? Now, before we get there, make sure you check out my recent video on whether or not you're supposed to have 60 seconds access and what to do if you don't to make sure that you actually don't have it or if it's just a glitch. Now, once we've established that you genuinely do not have 60 seconds of reels, there are a couple of things that you can do to cope. First is that you can break it into pieces. Now, we know that this is a long established tradition from the TikTok world where people do part one, part two, part three, and it can be a little hard for people to find part one, part two, part three on TikTok because with the TikTok algorithm, it kicks those videos out months after they have been posted. But the Instagram algorithm is not quite the same way. While it does kick some of the really high performing videos out for several weeks or maybe even longer, we know that the majority of these are only going to be kicked out in the next couple of days. So within a day or so of posting, that's where you're going to be getting the most views on your reels. So as you are creating these, it's actually okay to break it up into part one, part two, part three, whatever you need to accommodate the size reel that you have access to right now. Just make sure you cover one really important point in each and you do not drag it out so that you're filling up and wasting that time. You want to make sure that it is as condensed as possible and you're saying this is part one and part two or this is part one and you give one or two different bullet points that you fit into that 15 second or that 30 second reel and tell them how to see the next part of it. Keep in mind as you're breaking this into sections you want to make sure that you are reiterating the topic and letting them know that it is part two or part three and how they can find the rest of the series so that they get the entire point of what you were trying to say. Now, another thing that you can do when you are creating part one, part two, part three, is to make sure that you are creating a guide. So you wanna make sure that you're using guides to create that playlist for yourself so that people can easily go through part one, part two, part three, and use it almost like a mini study of whatever it is that you're speaking on. And if you need help with guides, I've got that link down below for you as well. You can also put these back to back to back. I would recommend putting them out very close to each other so people don't have to wait a long time to get the full point that you are trying to say. So put them out very closely together and then add them to your stories and you can even add them to your highlights. So once you post on stories, you're able to then create a highlight out of it so that people can easily find it. And if you have a really valuable point that takes up multiple reels, this is a great way to do it because it's so valuable that you're gonna put it on your highlights or in your guides to make sure people can easily find it. Now, if you don't wanna break it into parts, you can actually post it on your main feed or you can post it to IGTV, which is a really good thing to be investing your time into right now because Instagram has started paying some creators to create IGTV videos. So this is video over 60 seconds. That means you're gonna have to push it a little bit longer, which means you may need a little bit of an extra explanation or something to get it over that 60 second mark. But this is going to be an area that is heavily pushed on the platform. So I would keep it as short as possible. 61 seconds, 62 seconds. Don't go above and beyond unless you actually need to and you're really fleshing it out as a full video. If you can, make sure you keep it very, very short, very brief, and deliver all of your points within that 61, 62 second video that you're then gonna put on IGTV. It functions very similarly to Reels. It's not pushed out quite the same way, but it is highly, highly effective for you to be leveraging it right now because they're clearly and verbally leaning into IGTV videos. So if you can't fit it into a Reel, that's okay. Make it an IGTV video that is short, concise, to the point, and snappy and then move forward with what you are doing. Now, there is one more thing we need to discuss and this is actually probably the most important thing that I can tell you. Keep in mind that the most effective reels are the shortest. You should not be creating 60 second reels. That's just going to kill your watch time. Unless you are incredibly engaging and you have the most valuable point in the world, people are not sticking around for more than 15 or so seconds. In fact, we know from TikTok and from Instagram and YouTube and all of the other platforms that are doing short form content that seven to 15 seconds of video performs the best. Say what you need to say, but stop with the fluff. Get it as short as possible. We are not wasting people's time. Think about it this way. How do you scroll through Instagram? How do you throw, scroll through TikTok? Do videos hold your attention for more than a few seconds before you scroll on? Unless they've got an amazing hook and it's so incredibly value packed, you're gonna scroll by. You're not gonna watch to the end of their video. 
And with the algorithms on any platform, their goal is to keep people on the platform. They're looking for your watch through time. So if you are creating videos and people are only watching 10% of that video, they're not going to keep recommending your video to people. If people are watching 70% of your video, then they're gonna kick it out to more people because you've got that watch retention time. People are staying for the majority of your video rather than the, just the beginning part of it. So shorter is better for your watch time and your watch retention time, which means the algorithm will then say, oh, people are interested in this. I'll kick this out to more people and also the other content that that person is creating. So if you want all of your content kicked out more, shorter is definitely better. And make sure you've got that strong hook to really grab them in and hold them there throughout the majority of your video. Shorter leads to better watch through, leads to a better algorithm standing. So if you have a lot to say, that's okay. You can make it a little bit longer, but you dang well and good had better be bringing the benefit to people. You have to hook them from the very first second and then just deliver, deliver, deliver really good engaging content that is going to make a difference in their lives. You want to make sure that you have them hooked for the entire duration of it. Because if you waste their time, if you are boring, if you're slow, if you're not giving them quality information, they're going to leave. That's going to hurt your algorithm standing and that's going to hurt all of your videos and your content going forward. So you want to make sure the shorter you can make it, the better it's going to be. Cut the fluff out. Boil that down to the most basic point that you need to say and say it. This is a study in learning how to communicate effectively. So don't worry if you don't have 60 seconds yet, you will still be able to thrive on the platform if you are leveraging that smaller content. Seven, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, these are all really good time frames to be aiming for. And I understand you can't always communicate in 15 seconds, I get that. But make sure the majority of your content is as short as possible and to the point and then you will be able to do really, really well on this platform. And then when you do produce a longer video, they will already be so prepared and so ready for the good and valuable content you're putting out there, that they will stick around for those 60 seconds. And pro tip, as you're boiling this down to the shortest amount of time possible, and keep in mind, you can do spin-offs. So if you have something with a number of points you wanna say, and you can treat it as one single point and then spin-offs, do that, that's gonna be so much better for you. So create spinoffs of your original, deliver the first point, the most valuable thing you can, and then stay tuned for what's going to happen next. So when I do something on Instagram Reels here, I'll deliver the point, but then I'll also say, make sure you hit the subscribe bell for the next video where I'm teaching you this. Use that same principle in your Reels as well. Here's the point I'm delivering to you, but make sure you follow because I'm also following it up with something that spins off of this. Having that spin off content is going to not only hook them in, but get them to follow your account. So if you've got questions on this, I would love to get those answered for you. Go ahead and drop those down below. And I know, I know it's hard to wait for the 60 seconds. It feels like Instagram is just beating all of us up and just holding things hostage from us. But I promise, if you can learn to communicate effectively through shorter content, you will reign supreme on this platform and every other one. Drop your questions down below. Hit the subscribe and notification bell. We're going to continue to talk about how you can level up with your Instagram and Instagram Reels in the coming episodes to make sure you're creating more profit inside of your business through your smart social media marketing. I'll see you in the next episode.